Happy New Year, everybody. Bobby Hogan here, bringing you a small video before we start our challenge group on January 6th. I want to talk about two ingredients that we'll be using, and you'll probably be using it quite a bit. So the first one we're going to talk about is liquid brag aminos. You might have seen this in the store. You might have passed it on maybe the Whole Food uh, aisles. And I want you to use this for your substitute for soy sauce. And let me tell you why. One of the bigger brands called Kinko Men's is about 920 milligrams per serving. And if you look in the back of your, uh, if you look for re-label labels, and it's so important that we do, uh, this liquid brag aminos, and I'll show you a picture of it. This is it right here. Looks just like soy sauce. It's from strictly the soybean, and that's the only ingredient. Um, you're going to get 320 milligrams per serving compared to the Kinko Men's 920 milligrams. Now, daily intakes, you want to keep between 1,500 milligrams to roughly 2,000 to 2,500 milligrams, not going any really higher than that. And if this is a great product because for those of you who might have celiac disease, um, Kinko Man's does have the wheat in it, so you might have that gluten intolerance and that might, uh, that might kind of destroy you a little bit on the inside. But uh, this is one of the great products that we, we use here in the family whenever we want to use some type of soy sauce and some type of a stir fry. Uh, this is our go-to go -to ingredient. The other one I want to talk about, and this one you really can't find in a Walmart. You won't be able to find it if you're here in Navarre and Gold Freeze. You won't be able to find it in a Winn-Dixie or a Publix. Uh, you're probably going to have to go over to uh, Everman's in Pensacola or possibly, or there's also the, I forget what it's called, but it's almost like a Whole Foods. Uh, that's right across the Cordova Mall in Pensacola, and it's called Nutritional Yeast. What Nutritional Yeast is, and it looks, it's, it's flaky. Let me see if you can see it. It's flaky, okay? And what it does is it tastes just like butter, okay? So I put this on my Air Pop popcorn. We put it, um, we put it on our kids' broccoli and cauliflower, and they absolutely love it. This is what I call like a superfood, okay? Superfood. This inside inside this nutritional yeast, it has four grams of fiber, eight grams of protein, has vitamins B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, and it's got over 100% of your daily value intake when it comes to vitamins. I mean, it, it also goes all the way up to almost 700% on some of these vitamins. So um, you'll probably have to head over to a specialty store. It's about seven dollars a pound, and I'm, don't let that scare you because. Honestly, if you buy one pound of nutritional yeast, it's going to last you about three months. The next thing I want to talk about is go through your pantries, your cupboards, and your fridge today. Get rid of anything that's going to tempt you. If there's any candy that's in there, if there's any type of sweet cereals, if there's any type of oh, I, I don't, leftover Chinese from last night or pizza from the weekend, get rid of it. Okay? This is our challenge. We started here January 6th. Start heading to the grocery stores, print out the recipe list, and see what you need to buy. Start cooking Saturday and Sunday so that these meals don't seem like a burden because healthy cleaning, it does take effort. Okay, That's the thing that we have to learn is cooking clean it takes effort. This whole fast food idea that it's quick and it's ready, it just doesn't happen. Even on the healthy product foods, if you go back and read the labels, you can just see there's a bunch of chemicals in there. This is this is my rule of thumb. If I don't know what it is and it's a chemical, why am I putting it into my body? All right. So today, enjoy it. Go start looking through your cupboards, getting rid of things, and then start heading to the grocery stores. All right. I look forward to January 6th and for hearing from everybody and start the cooking coming this weekend. And we'll talk some more later. See ya.